Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to turn the MIDI tracks that were recorded in Logic using the Phantom into audio, also using the Phantom. All right, let's get started. So in the previous video, we did an example of using the Phantom as the sound module into Logic. Very quick and very easy. And now what if we wanted to come into here and say, all right, I have my song arranged and now I'm ready to turn it into to audio. So I'm going to say we're going to need a one, two, three, and four tracks of audio. All right, so let's go to plus right here. And I'm going to record audio and it's going to be from the Phantom. And I can change all this, the audio input, audio output, I definitely want it to the Phantom. I'm going to go, I need four tracks, four audio tracks, and let's create. Okay, there they are here. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to put them, ooh, let me unselect, everybody's locked together. Okay, I'm going to take this one and this is going to be the bass audio. Okay, so that one's there. So let's go ahead and move him up right there above this guy okay uh this particular one so next one we're gonna need the ep so we're gonna call this one the ep very quick and we're just doing this real fast but i just wanted you guys to, and gals to see this there that's gonna be the audio for this guy okay and now we need the one more with uh two more now we're gonna do the string one so strings this is the audio here we go let's move him right there above the string MIDI. And then here's one more, the audio, and this one is gonna be for the drums, and there we go, drums. Now, here's what we need to do, and I just did this real fast, just so you can see. On this audio, if we look, if we look right here, oops, sorry. If we look down here at our audio settings for that particular input, it's set to one and two. Well, this particular bass is recorded on MIDI channel two, which is zone two. So that would be one, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and change this audio to input three and four. Great. Uh, now let's go ahead and see what we have. Let's go ahead and solo this guy. And we've got it on record just so we can make sure we're getting it. And there it is. So that's the correct one for that one. Now let's go into this one right here, the EP. EP in the MIDI is recorded on channel three, MIDI channel three, which let's select it. That's gonna be, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. So it's input five and six. So let's check this one as well. Uh, EP right there. Let's turn him on and let's see, make sure that's what we're getting. Let me unsolo this guy. All right, let's go ahead and see. And we're, yeah, we'll solo this guy. All right, and let's see what we're getting. There's the audio for that guy. So very quick. So let's do these other ones real fast. So that's the MIDI for uh, the strings. So it's number four. So I'll change the audio input for this guy. So we got one, two, three, Four, that's that one. And then now let's do the drums right here. This is the audio for the drums. Uh, let's go ahead and get them set. So we have input one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I think we are good to go. So this time we're gonna press record on all of those particular audio tracks. And you know what, just to make this a little bit easier, let's go ahead and delete some of these that don't have anything on them. All right, so I'll go ahead and get rid of some of these right here. And let me take my time so I don't mess this up. All right, this will probably make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, great. And I just, th I just threw those extra MIDI channels in there so that way you kind of have some options. All right, so my bass audio is set, my EP audio, my drums, oh, and my strings. Nobody is muted. I think we are set to go. I don't even need the count in because the Phantom is being triggered via MIDI and that's gonna trigger the audio. All right, let's go ahead and record and see what we have. Here we go. Oh, 
let me undo that. You saw that I messed up here. <laughs> Let's drag these guys over. There we go. There we go. Let's do that. And that's 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 a great thing. All right, here we go. Now let's try it one more time, and I'll go ahead and put a count in just to make you feel better. So here we go. Uh, record, back it up. Here we go. Could have arranged it however we want. We're capturing the audio based on the MIDI. All right, so as you can see, the recording MIDI uh, that we did in the previous video, we used that MIDI to trigger the Phantom to go ahead and play those, but this time we said, you know what? I want Logic to capture the audio coming from the Phantom right into Logic, and now we have those. And now if we wanted to for playback, we can say, you know what? Let's go ahead and mute those MIDI parts, and now we have the audio real nice and clean, and I don't have anything there. Let me get rid of that. And we have it all set to go. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and hide these MIDIs and, and just bring them up uh, back again if we need them. So very nice and clean, clean audio that was triggered via MIDI using the Phantom and Logic. All right, you guys give this a try. I hope it helps you out. Take care, and we'll talk to you later.